Product photography is becoming a huge segment of the photo business. In this video, we're talking about what it is, why it's important, and how you can get into this incredible niche. This is the first video in my product photography series, so let's get started. Hey there, if you're new here, my name's Chris. I'm teaching you photography and how to start a creative business. I wanna say a special hi to all my new subscribers. Welcome to the channel. In this video, we're talking all about product photography. This is the intro video of my multi-part product photography tutorial series. I'm not sure if this will be a five video series or a 20 video series. I wanna teach you everything I know about product photography and how you can start doing it. Today we're talking about what product photography is, why it's important, the skills and gear required, and how to get started in it. Okay, so what is product photography? As the name implies, it's photos of products, primarily photos of products that companies sell. This could be anything from e-commerce stores that sell wallets to food and beverage brands that sell coffee. At first, you might think this is a boring area of photography, but really, your imagination is the only limit here. Let's look at this can. What are all the ways that we can photograph this can? Well, we can have it plain like this, or we can go ahead and spray it with some water to make it look more refreshing. We can even uh, crack it open and try and capture all the minuscule water droplets you get as the can opens. And you can even pour it out into a glass with ice cubes in it. Already, we've got four different ways to photograph this can and we haven't even introduced colorful backdrops, props, or unique lighting techniques. There are hundreds and hundreds of ways to photograph a simple can. It's your job as a photographer and creative director to find those ways. So why is product photography so important? We can thank the internet for this. Consumers are shopping online more and more, and since they can't see the products in person, they need photos. Yes, there are your generic white background product photos that you see on Amazon, but there are also way more creative ways to do product photography. A good product photographer can convey the brand's identity and product characteristics all through a single photo. In that can example, using the water droplets will convey the refreshing nature of the drink. All this helps the company get more sales, and that's what they're really after. Product photography is important because it helps sell more products to consumers. That's the bottom line that brands care about at the end of the day. If you can make photos that sell, then you're in a great position as a product photographer. Product photography is unique because it's actually a growing segment of the photography industry. Every day, new Shopify stores are opening and more and more products are being listed on Amazon. All these products need to be photographed. That's where you come in. Now, what are the skills required for product photography? Attention and detail is gonna be really important. You'll want to inspect all the products before photographing them to see if there are any dents or blemishes. You want to identify any crooked labels. You just want to make sure that the product looks awesome. This attention and detail is also super important when you're editing, since you'll be doing a lot of retouching pretty often. Obviously, you also need to know how to use a camera. You need to know the basics of composition. It's important to have a good grasp on how light affects photos. Good lighting is one of the most important things in product photography. This will make or break a photo. It's also important to be creative here. Yes, there are a lot of standard shots you can do, but so much more fun if you can get creative with your photos and set yourself apart from the other photographers out there. Finally, a good understanding of Lightroom and a basic understanding of Photoshop will go a long way in producing a beautiful final image. Before we move on, if you're getting any value out of this so far, please give the video a like. It really helps the channel grow and helps me make more of these videos. So now we know the skills, but what gear do you need to be successful? Gear does matter here, but only to a certain degree. You can do a lot with inexpensive equipment. More expensive gear just makes your life easier. At a minimum, you'll need a camera body, a prime lens like a 50 millimeter, and some sort of light source. In a pinch, a window will do if you're on a budget. Ideally, you'll have an off-camera flash or a continuous light. I'll talk more about different light sources in a more in-depth video. Like I mentioned, lighting is really important in product photography. That's really all the gear that you need to get started. Obviously, you'll need backdrop papers and different surfaces to set up different scenes, but those will depend on the type of products that you're photographing. I've got a lot of different colored papers and a lot of surfaces that I've acquired based on project needs over the past few years. I've even got a closet that's dedicated to all the props I have. Really, the more you do this, the more you'll figure out what your style is and what props and surfaces you like best. All right, let's talk about the wear. Proc photography is great because you can take these photos in your own home. Even if you don't have a dedicated space in your house, you can quickly set up a mini studio on your table or desk and shoot there. This is exactly what I used to do when I started out. Those photos I shot back then and the photos I shoot now are pretty much the same. It's really nice to have a dedicated space for it, but it's definitely not a requirement. As your business grows, you can then move into a bigger or dedicated space purely for photography. Being able to shoot from home is a huge perk for someone starting out in this area of photography. Finally, that leads us to the how. How do you get started in product photography? That's what my next video on the series will cover. I'll be posting videos about white background product photography, colored background, setting up scenes with props, shooting lifestyle product photography, and so much more. Subscribe to stay notified for when those will be coming out. Thank you for watching, and I really appreciate your attention. If you like this, please let me know down below, and I'll see you in the next one.